ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce our guest of honor and speaker, the Cabinet Secretary, the Honorable Carlo Alexei Bendigo Nograles. Please give him a warm welcome. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Magandang hapon, mayang hapon kaninyong tanan. This is indeed a historic day for the maritime industry and the tens of thousands of our seafarers and overseas Filipino workers who all stand to benefit from the commissioning of one of the country's largest training ships, the MV Capitan Gregorio Oca. It is common knowledge in government that the maritime sector and beyond our shores, the Filipino seafarers are world class. In fact, even the chairman of the International Mariners Management Association of Japan has admitted that Filipino seafarers are the top choice of Philippine Japanese ship managers and owners. This only serves to emphasize that Filipinos are the most sought after seafarers in the global shipping industry. Filipinos are the first choice to man ships at sea from luxury cruise ships to giant tankers. Just over a year into the President's term, Congress passed Republic Act 10928, which extends the validity of the Philippine passport to 10 years. A boon for seafarers who want to spend their short time with loved ones instead of lining up for official documents they need. Last July, Department of Labor and Employment Secretary Silvestre Bello reported that the government established 17 one-stop shop service centers where OFWs can avail of government services. These one-stop shops, according to Participatory Governance Cluster Chair DBM Secretary Ben Jokno, have extended assistance to 1.22 million OFWs. Secretary Bello likewise reported that the first ever OFW Bank has also been created to respond to the financial needs of Filipino migrant workers and their families. The ultimate objective of this agenda, as spelled out in the Philippine Development Plan, is a future wherein every Filipino enjoys a matatag maginhawa at panatag na buhay. As American computer scientist and United States Navy Rear Admiral Grace Hopper said, a ship in port is safe, but that's not what ships are built for. I therefore join all of you in sending off MV Capitan Gregorio Oca to do what it was built for, confident that its officers and crew will find the treasures of bounty and blessings for themselves, their families, and their beloved country in our seas and beyond. Maraming salamat po. At mabuhay ang Associated Maritime Officers and Seamans Union of the Philippines at ang Maritime Academy of Asia and the Pacific. Mabuhay ang MV Kapitan Gregorio Oca. 